Welcome to Miami Beach. Brand new construction in Miami Beach, right behind me. We have 4,500 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, brand spanking new. Mwah. Now, of course, before we go into the house, we like to talk about the outside. You got this coral stone rock here on the wall, all along here and even here on the facade. Gives you a really nice facade out here front. This over here is Ipe wood. So you have that wood, coral stone, very warm looking facade as you enter. I really do like the way this house looks from the front. I think it's super nice. You got a bunch of nice landscaping right over here with these palm trees. These palm trees are gonna get real nice and tall. And then you're, you have right over here, more Ipe. More Ipe wood and it's like these big blocks of Ipe wood all along here to give that cool aesthetic. All right, check out this door. Big glass door, floor to ceiling. That's what it's all about. Go on in, go on in, you first, ladies first. Here is the entrance of this home. You're looking straight out to your backyard. Massive pool back there, we'll look back there in a second. But over here to your left upon entry, you have your living room. This is your formal living room where you're probably gonna have people over to converse, socialize, make jokes. <laughs> This is where that is gonna happen, right here. And you have the high ceilings with the drop down ceiling with nice lighting around here. And then you can see kind of drops down on each of the sides, uh, but you're overlooking straight to your backyard, which I think is absolutely beautiful with that pool. That pool is so big. It's like the size of almost the house. Um, and then if you look over here, actually, you kind of see that aesthetic of the entrance with the Ipe wood, which is super cool, super trendy. And you walk on over from your living room right into your kitchen. You notice here you have the oak wood floors. You have that porcelain, oak wood, porcelain. Oak wood in the bedrooms. It's real nice. The oak wood really gives that warm feel. But we come on in here and we're in the kitchen. Thermador right here, you have Thermador appliances, you have a coffee maker to make your coffee in the morning. You have a wine cooler here. And then of course you have, you gotta, you know, when Thanksgiving comes around, where are you gonna get the, the where are you gonna put the turkey? Or the vegan turkey, wherever you want. You gotta, you gotta put it in here, that's that. And then of course your cooktop with the hood here, overlooking the entertaining spaces. So while you're cooking, you can converse to the people that are in the dining room right across, that way you can Cook up a mean meal right in front of them. Show off your moves. <laughs> Ref freezer, refrigerator. Okay, but I'm loving that gray feel, the gray quartz countertop. I love this, I really do like this. And then they're bringing the greenery inside. Over here in this section of the house, you have the entrance to the two car garage, you have the laundry room, and then you have a pantry, a pantry. So you can put your food and like, you know what a pantry is. Turn around over here, you have what they have it as the formal dining area over here. You can kind of mix this space. Um, you can maybe put a TV here, a little seating area for the TV, and then have like the dining here. You could have the dining over there. You could work with the spaces, but it's a nice large space. And it's, it's really defining the spaces, which I think is real nice with the floors. Porcelain, oak wood, porcelain, oak wood and that's real oak wood come down over here you have the corridor going all the way down with the massive windows and doors to the side so they're bringing in a ton of light you have one two three bedrooms on the side this bedroom in here every single bedroom has its own bathroom okay its own bathroom and a walk-in closet that's fully done and built out for you already so you don't have to do anything because it's brand new okay this is bedroom number one Bedroom number two is right over here past these closets. And then the final bedroom for your favorite son or your favorite daughter, this is where you put them. But you, t you, know, you obviously tell your kids, look, all three, you guys are all my favorite. And you just low key put the favorite one in here. Just, you know, you deserve this space. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Now we're gonna track backwards, like a little reverse, a little reverse. 
Yeah, a little reverse down to the other side because we gotta go upstairs and see the master bedroom and a second bedroom up there too. Let's go. Now we are going upstairs on these stairs. Before we go over there, I wanna show you right now the powder room right over here. This is the half bath for guests. They can use this instead of going into the bedrooms. This is the bathroom they use. Now we go upstairs. If you notice on the stairs, you have the oak wood floors, real oak wood, and it just spirals up to a bunch of natural light. Hurry up, Felipe. We don't got all day, dude. What's going on, man? <laughs> I don't treat Felipe like that, okay? I'm kidding. So we come up here. First off, notice the chandelier, all right? Right over here to my right, you have this really nice chandelier that has like six, like nine bulbs, very nice, very luxurious. And you have this balcony here. I wanna point this out. This is something worth seeing. Come out here. You have a large terrace out here and you're overlooking the Miami Beach Golf Course. This is not La Gorge. We did a video on the La Gorge Golf Course, a house similar to this, with the view of the golf course right behind. It's in the backyard, but that's a different golf course. That's more north than where we are. We're on the southern, a little bit more south in Miami Beach. But you see over there, I wish I had like one of those like horns. Have you seen the videos where the horns, you blow the horn and then hitting the golf? I think that'd be so funny, but very immature. So big, big terrace over here so you can hang out, maybe overlook and watch your family play golf. If you like to play golf, you can watch them play golf right there, all right? So now we're fully upstairs. So you would go up the staircase, that right there's the balcony. What I really like is that they put the artificial grass on top of this, the roof right here, because if not, it would just be concrete, which isn't so nice. So this is the landing area. You could put a little seating area here so you can wait for your wife or your husband to get ready. Or it could also be an area where you put a desk and have a little view overlooking while you're working, right? You can put a nice desk, have your computer, watch the golf ball. Hopefully the golf ball doesn't come at you. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Ooh. <laughs> Down over here, you have one bedroom and then the master's at the end over there. So this is the one bedroom here. Okay, it's a nice size bedroom. This would be great for an office. You could use this as your office if you wanted to. Maybe you have a baby, you wanna keep the baby close by, that could be that. Or you could just convert this into a closet. In addition to your two other closets, I've seen that done before. You have a walk-in closet over here, you have your own bathroom over here with a really nice tile that's different from the bathrooms downstairs. Super, super nice. And now, we go to the master bedroom. Come over here. Now we're in the master bedroom. You have that nice double door entry, and upon walking in, you have your first walk-in closet over here, okay? First walk-in closet, it's built out for you. Nice, one less thing to worry about. Over here, you have your bathroom. You have your beautiful bathroom, which is really nice. You have double vanity, of course. You have the shower over here on the, on the left side, and you have on the right side, you have the toilet, and then of course, right behind me, you have the tub. And the tub is perfectly centered, overlooking your green, the green trees, the landscaping, and then down there is the pool, but it's super nice tub. It's that, it's that modern. This is what the modern is. This, right here. Look at the, the, the faucet in the wall. This is very nice. I'm really, I like this bathroom. I like it. Very nice. Over here to your, now we're gonna continue down in the master bedroom. You have over here, the larger closet of the two. This one, you could really go far back. This is a really deep closet. You see how far back I am? Look at how far back I am. That's, that's a workout in of itself. Coming from there to there, that's a workout. And then you have your actual master bedroom. Here you are, master bedroom with a massive terrace. And what's really neat is that this terrace has stairs that go all the way down to the pool. So you can go from the pool right up to your room every single day, which is a nice feature. You don't see too often. So we're gonna take it the better way. We're gonna go to the pool from over here. Come on, come on. Let me go first, let me go first, sorry. I know it's ladies first, but. <laughs> 
large terrace out here. This is huge. You have the porcelain tile, you have the Ipe wood over there. Big terrace right off the balcony. You have your cup of coffee in the morning, you go awesome, and you just go down into your pool. It's windy because we're by the water, okay? This is a huge terrace, really nice to put some seating area. Now you're ready to go downstairs. You're in your backyard. The lot's just over 10,000 square feet. You have a nice little green area over here, but really the highlight of this backyard is the size of the pool. I mean, this pool is massive. It's absolutely huge. It's a lap pool, like it would take me pretty long to run the whole thing. You see that? You see that? You have a seating area, a little landing area over here, like a beach area, where you have the hole where you could put the beach, you know, umbrella, sit there, hang out, do some laps, go back and forth. But that's the pool, this is the backyard. And this is brand new construction in Miami Beach. And that is the end of the tour. Brand new construction in Miami Beach, close to it all, but brand new. That's the highlight. And the other highlight is this massive pool, the Ipe wood on the side with the coral rocks. This is truly a Miami Beach beauty, and it could be yours. And if it, you want it to be yours, shoot me an email, youtube at jonathanmvega.com. This house could be yours for $5.2 million. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm your real estate agent, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.